Good evening, my friends. It's Miss Rachel from the William Jeans Memorial Library. Welcome to Pajama Storytime. I'm so embarrassed. I forgot my pajamas tonight, so I'm wearing my regular clothes. How am I going to go to sleep without my pajamas? I'm going to have to go home and get them, I guess. But I'm not going to do that now because it's time for Pajama Storytime to start. And George and I are ready to enjoy a nice evening with you. So thank you for joining us and if you want to take a minute before we really get started to grab something to shake because we will do our shaker song in a little while. It doesn't have to be a shaker eggs like I have. You could use keys or a baby rattle or a maraca or any kind of container. I have a water bottle with dried beans in it. Any plastic container or jar with any kind of dried grain or bean will work for a shaker if you like. And something that you can use like a scarf. I like to use this one, but you can use a dish rag or a t-shirt or even a tissue, whatever you'd like to use uh, that you can wave around when we get to our scarf song, you can use for that. So let's get started and we're gonna say hello. There are only a couple friends who I know are joining us tonight, so we'll sing to you. And if you are watching, you can put your name in the comments. And if I see it in time before our song is over, I'll add your name. Um, if you join a little bit later, put your name in. Well, if you join later, then you won't be listening to this part, so never mind. But I'll say hi to you whenever I see your name. Let's all clap, because Eva is here. Eva is here. Eva is here. Let's all clap cause Eva is here, Eva is here tonight. Let's all clap cause Casey is here, Casey is here, Casey is here. Let's all clap cause Casey is here, Casey is here tonight. Let's all clap cause Emerson is here, Emerson is here, Emerson is here. Let's all clap cause Emerson is here, Emerson is here tonight. Let's all clap cause Elliot is here, Elliot is here, Elliot is here. Let's all clap cause Elliot is here, Elliot is here tonight. Welcome everybody, we are so glad you're here. I'm gonna read a new book. Gotta get situated so I can come closer. Make sure you can see the pictures cause they are fantastic. This is called Let's Play Monsters, and it is by Lucy Cousins, who is the author of the Maisie books, which you might have heard of, and lots of other books. But this one I'm especially enjoying. Um, like I said, it's a new book, and it's Let's Play Monsters. These are all of the people and things that are going to play monster with our friend, the star of the book, Gabriel. Let's Play Monsters by Lucy Cousins. This book is published by Candlewick Press. My name is Gabriel and I am three. I like to play with monsters, but they can't catch me. Come on, Josie. This is Josie. I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. You be a monster who's green and scary with sharp pointy teeth and feet that are hairy. Whoa, look at Josie as a monster. Munch, crunch, scrunch. I'll eat you for my lunch. Hee hee hee, but you can't catch me. Come on, Uncle Rufus. I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. You be a monster who's very, very big with horns like a cow and a tail like a pig. Moo, I'm chasing you. Hee hee hee, but you can't catch me. Now this time it's not a person who's gonna play. Who is it? 
needs a cat? Come on, kitty cat. I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. You be a monster with long, sharp claws, all scritchy and scratchy on your big yellow paws. Hiss, hiss, rawr, I'll chase you out the door. Hee <laughs> hee but you can't catch me. Come on, Nana, I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. This one is my favorite. You be a monster made of bright pink jelly with big round eyes and feet that are smelly. Shlop, slap, sloop, I'll gobble you up. <laughs> but you can't catch me. Come on, flower. I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. It's not people or animals, now it's a flower. What kind of monster is a flower going to be? Gabriel says, you be a monster with a big yellow nose and long green arms and muddy brown toes. Fi fo fum, I'll tickle your tum. <laughs> but you can't catch me. Come on, mommy, I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. You be a monster with spikes on your back who eats little boys with your teeth that are black. Oh no. Gobble, gobble, gulp. I'll eat you up. Hee hee hee. But you can't catch me. Oh yes I can. I'll gobble your toes and I'll nibble your nose. Now. You be a monster with a funny green head who is tired and sleepy and ready for bed. Monster kisses. One, two, three. Mwah! 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 I love you and you love me. Look at all the monster friends. The flower monster. The, the, this one's kind of hidden. Grandma monster, the cat monster, Uncle Rufus, Josie, and there's Gabriel. Thank you for joining me for a new book from Lucy Cousins. And we're trying all kinds of new things tonight. You might know one of my favorite things to do with you is zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. But tonight, because this is our last pajama story time before Halloween, we're going to add or change it to a Halloween version of zoom, zoom, zoom. So this is going to be a little hard for you to see all of me, but you are going to pretend to climb onto your broom. All right? So when you see me stand up and go like this, that means we are climbing onto our witch's broom. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. If you want to fly tonight to give a spook and give a fright, zoom, 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 climb onto my broom in five, four, three, two, one, boom! That part's a little different. Instead of blast off, we say boom! So you got the idea? Now you pretend to climb on your broom and I won't do that because it takes me right off the screen. 
Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. If you want to fly tonight to give a spook and give a fright, zoom, 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 climb onto my broom in five, four, three, two, one. Boo! Are you scaring me as much as I'm scaring you? Or am I scaring you as much as you're scaring me? That's what I meant to say. Let's do it one more time. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. If you want to fly tonight to give a spook and give a fright. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. In five, four, three, two, one. Boom! I like that version. I learned that from some librarians in Canada and I'm sharing it with you tonight. But we are not gonna do that all night long because we have to save time to read some more books about bedtime. This one is called Go to Sleep, Gecko. It's by Margaret, well, it's retold by Margaret Reed McDonald, illustrated by Geraldo Valerio. And I say it's retold because it is a folk tale which means it's a story that people have been telling for a long, long time. This one is a Balinese folktale, which means it's a story that has been told um, by the Balinese people for a long, long time. And Margaret Mead MacDonald put it into a book. And Mr. Valerio added some pictures so we can enjoy the story that way. Go to sleep, gecko. One night, I'm trying to make it so there's no glare on the pictures so you can see them. One night, Elephant was awakened. He heard a loud noise right under his window. Gecko, Gecko, Gecko. Gecko, what are you doing here? It is the middle of the night. Go home and go to bed. I can't sleep, said Gecko. The fireflies are flitting all around my house. They are blinking their lights on and off, on and off. You've got to make them stop. You're the village boss. Do something about it. I'll talk to the fireflies in the morning, said Elephant. Now go home and go to bed. Gecko dragged himself grumpily home. Gecko, Gecko. Gecko. Next morning, Elephant called the fireflies. Is it true that you have been flashing your lights on and off, on and off, all night long? Have you been keeping Gecko awake? Oh, yes! said the fireflies. We have to blink our lights on and off all night. Buffalo leaves his poop all over the road. Without our lights, someone would step in the mess. Why, that is very thoughtful of you, said Elephant. Just keep on doing what you've been doing. You can go home now. So the fireflies went home. That night at midnight, Elephant was awakened again. Gecko! 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 Elephant leaned out his window. Gecko, go home and go to bed. But I can't sleep. The fireflies are still blinking their lights on and off, on and off. You said you'd make them stop. Gecko, the fireflies need to blink their lights. Buffalo leaves poop in the road. Without their lights, someone might step in it. Then talk to Buffalo. You're the village boss. Do something about it. In the morning, Elephant called Buffalo. Buffalo, is it true you have been dropping poop all over the road? 
Oh, yes. Rain washes holes in the road every afternoon. I just fill them up the best way I know how. If I didn't do that, someone could stumble in the holes and get hurt. That is very thoughtful of you, Buffalo. Just keep doing what you have been doing. You can go home now. So Buffalo went home. That night at midnight, Elephant was awakened again. Elephant leaned out his window. Gecko, will you please go home and go to bed? I can't sleep. The fireflies are still blinking their lights on and off, on and off. You said you'd do something about it. Gecko, let me explain. Buffalo fills up the holes that rain washes out. The fireflies light the road so no one steps in Buffalo's mess. You'll just have to put up with the fireflies. Talk to Rain. You're the village boss. Do something about it. In the morning, Elephant called Rain. Is it true you wash holes in the road every afternoon? Oh, yes, I rain hard every afternoon to make puddles for the mosquitoes. If the puddles dried up, the mosquitoes would die. If the mosquitoes died, there would be nothing for Gecko to eat. So I rain very hard every day. I see, said Elephant. Rain, you may go home. That night at midnight, Elephant was awakened. Gecko! He leaned out his window. Gecko, go home and go to bed. I still can't sleep. The fireflies are blinking their lights on and off, on and off. You said you'd do something about it. Gecko, listen carefully. If rain doesn't rain every afternoon, there will be no puddles. If there are no puddles, there will be no mosquitoes. If there are no mosquitoes, you, Gecko, will have nothing to eat. Now, what do you think of that? Gecko thought. If Elephant told Rain to stop raining, Buffalo could stop filling the holes, and the fireflies could stop flashing their lights. But Gecko would have nothing to eat. Gecko, said Elephant, this world is all connected. Some things you just have to put up with. Now go home and go to sleep. So Gecko went home. Gecko closed his eyes. Gecko went to sleep. Outside, the fireflies blinked on and off, on and off. Some things you just have to put up with. I think that is a wonderful story because Gecko learned how the fireflies were actually helping him even though it didn't seem like it. It seemed like he was just they were just keeping him awake. But everything is connected, and the older you get, the more you're going to find out how things are all connected. And some things are great, and some things we just have to put up with. I think this would be a great time to do our shaker song, don't you think? So you can get out whatever you have to shake with. I will get out my shaker eggs. And I'm going to turn our song on. Hopefully it stayed connected while we were reading and singing. Let's see. Well, it did. Let me start over. We don't want to miss any of it. Are you ready? Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. 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 Shake it
shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it anywhere you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it anywhere you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbows. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbows. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbows. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it any way you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Come on and shake it with me. Good shaking, my friends. Good shaking. Whoa. My phone wants to keep on shaking. Hold on a second. There we go. We could shake all night, but then we would run out of time to read our last book for tonight. We don't want to do that. This is a good one. It's called Chengdu. Could not, would not fall asleep. Let's find out why. This is by Barney Salzberg, and it is published by Disney Hyperion. Let's find out why Chengdu will not go to sleep. Can you tell what plant that is? Do you know where pandas live? In the bamboo forest. It was late, and it was quiet, and everyone in the bamboo grove was sleeping. Everyone except Chengdu. No matter what Chengdu tried, he could not, would not fall asleep. Chengdu turned and he tossed. Does this ever happen to you? It happens to me sometimes. I turn and I toss and I cannot go to sleep. And he twitched. Poor Chengdu. But he could not, would not fall asleep. J 
Chengdu scrunched. And he rolled. And he hung upside down. But he still could not, would not go to sleep. Chengdu was very tired. He really wanted to be sleeping. So he climbed up and up. and up until he found the perfect spot. And soon, everyone in the bamboo grove was sleeping. Everyone except Chengdu's brother, Yuan. Oh no! Do you see what happened? Here's one panda. Here's Chengdu. Here's Yuan. Chengdu climbs up and up until he falls asleep right on top of his brother, Yuan. And then Chengdu sleeps and Yuan can't. Could you sleep with someone on top of you like that? I wonder, it might be kind of hard. It's hard to keep calm and quiet sometimes and other siblings or brothers, sisters might be sleeping and you just can't fall asleep. Chengdu knows how you feel. It happens to him too. We are going to get out our scarves or whatever we're going to use as a scarf. I'm going to get out my scarf. And it's blue. But really the best color for the song or the rhyme that we're going to do would be orange because we're going to pretend that our scarf or our cloth or whatever we have is a pumpkin. So let's see if you can use your imagination and pretend that this is orange, pretend that it's a pumpkin, and the same thing for whatever you have in your hands. All right, it goes like this. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin eye. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin stew, pumpkin, 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 boo! We're doing lots of boo today since Halloween is coming up and that's a fun thing to do. Let's try it again now that we have the idea. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin eye. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, 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 boo! 
Let's do it one more time. You ready? I love making all these delicious pumpkin desserts and treats. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. The speaker turned off. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin eye. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin boo! Did I scare you? Maybe not. Did you scare me? You were pretty scary when you said boo! My friends, it has been so much fun to spend some time with you tonight. I'm sorry I forgot my pajamas. I don't feel cozy or snuggly at all, but I will have to go home and get cozy and snuggly soon. But first, we're gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna blow some bubbles for you just like we always do to say goodbye. So you can, if you have bubbles and you're allowed to blow them right now, you can, but probably not. So you can follow along the bubbles that you will see on your screen. See if you can pretend to catch them. But I do need to cover up my computer keyboard because we can't have bubbles getting on the computer. There we go. You ready? There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, there are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. They have to float down so you can see them. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say good night, say good night. And the bubbles say good night, say good night. And the bubbles say good night. Say good night and sleep tight. And the bubbles say good night and sleep tight. Good night, my friends. Thank you so much for spending part of your evening with me. It's one of my favorite things to do. I hope I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.